Uh, welcome to Polyphonic Press. I'm Jeremy Boyd. I'm John Van Dyke. And today we're going to be talking about a new law in Finland that could get your money back at a shitty concert. Here we go. Alright, so you might have heard about this by now, but there's a new law that was passed in Finland after a Chuck Berry performance in 2013 where he gave a less than stellar performance in some people's opinion hmm. uh, that that uh, got this this fan um, all the way to the top of their Supreme Court or their version of the Supreme Court to pass a law that if a band or a performance is not up to your satisfaction that you can actually get your money back. And this we were talking, it's going to cause a whole bunch of problems, I think. Uh, the, the biggest one for me, that I, the most obvious one, is how, you know, it, you have to go by the honor system. So, how are you, you can't, how can you say that a performance is bad? You, you might enjoy it and just say that it was bad to get your money back. You know, yeah. you might, it's so yeah. easy to cheat the system. Yeah, it's you know? a pretty easy way to, yeah, there's, um, be, again, you're going with the artist's subjective. I mean... Well, art is subjective, so yeah. if you're dissatisfied, there's no way to legally prove that. No, no. I mean, uh, and the argument, even if the artist was having an off night, they could argue that, well, I intended it to sound that way. They could argue, you that. know. So there's there there's both sides of it that that. Although you, you know, if an artist comes comes up and decides that well, he he intended it to sound like an off night. That this that that would still not apply because that's not what the people expected. I know that is the clause. In right, that. right. But 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 you know if that's if that was the artist's intention that or if that's what they claim they could claim that to get out of it. Uh, Maybe. Um, you know that th there. But this is a stupid <laughs> law to begin with. Why is this a law? <laughs> this is a stupid law. It's it's too subjective. Yeah, that's its main problem. But no, not only that, the idea that there's a law that you can get your money back off of a shitty performance. I mean, that, it, 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 you know, there are more important things. Well, I don't know. I'd say sometimes if I wound up at a shitty performance and, and you know, found myself spending money I otherwise wouldn't have I get spent it. or couldn't. I mean, but I know, I, but, I but get still, it. But still, it's, I mean... <laughs> I, I I get it. It sucks, but but that doesn't mean that there should be a law for no, it. No, no, I I I am not saying that either. But right? uh, I don't know. I don't know. This is this is a lot of a lot of uh, um, Scandinavian. They're they're very socialist in their in their politics uh, to an extreme. In some like this, in some in some uh, cases, yeah. You know, so like it's very. Um, it's very Scandinavian of them <laughs> to to put put this law. I, I guess the the one um, thing that they said was exempt from this was festivals, which makes sense because, yeah, because it's, it's, it's so arts. hard to. You can't get your money back for an entire festival when yeah. one artist disappointed you. Yeah, it's yeah, it doesn't work that way. So I, I I like I said I don't understand this law. I don't understand. I I I find it surprising that this guy was. I mean, how much is a Chuck Berry co like? Probably fifty bucks. I, in a, I in, have in no Canadian idea what, what it would cost over there. So, well, let's say it's it's probably the same. You know, the same. We can make that assumption, currency. but we also may be completely wrong. So, let's say that it's fifty dollars in, in Canadian money. Okay. Whatever it is in in whatever currency, the euro, I guess. Whatever currency that they have, let's say it translates to fifty dollars Canadian. Is fifty dollars really worth going to the top gov level of government to try and get your money back for a shitty performance two years ago? <laughs> Probably not. Also, Chuck Berry's not exactly a spring chicken. So no, so you <laughs> have to kind of give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. You're not going to see him in his prime. You're going to see him because it's Chuck Berry. Yeah. Right. You're not. It's you're not expecting the best performance that he's ever given. You're expecting to, you know, you're going because it's Chuck Berry and he's like one of a the, legend. the 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 founding fathers of rock and roll. You yeah. know, so you have, you kind of have to expect that he's eighty six years old and he's not going to give the yeah. performance of his life. So there's that aspect of it too. Is he, like you have to go 
into it expecting a certain thing. Um, but I don't know. I mean, what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. Do you agree with this law? Or do you think this is completely ridiculous? Let us know in the comments. Uh, be sure to subscribe so you know when we post new videos. Uh, you can check us out on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, follow John on Twitter at Funky Dutch. And that's about it. I'm Jeremy Boyd. And I'm John Van Dyke. Take it easy.